inside this unlikely looking lockup is a company which, the word has it, makes the best resto mod of them all. In fact, this might also be the best 911 of all. In the year the iconic sports car celebrates its 50th birthday, what we have here is a $250,000 one-off that might eclipse every Carrera, Turbo and GT3 that Porsche has ever made. The man who masterminded the restoration of this 1993 model is singer vehicle designs Rob Dickinson. Well, I've been obsessed with the 911 since 1970. I joined a rock band in the hope that I could make some money so I could buy one. And I just managed to, to do that. And I moved to Los Angeles in 2003 and built my ideal 911. Your little... My little 69 hot rod over there. And a lot of people liked that car. That was my Hollywood kind of hot rod racer. I started telling them, well, maybe I can build you something similar or restore a car in a similar way. And that led to Singer World. But then whilst restoring the car, you add all your own touches. You modify little bits. Every inch of the car has been considered. And I just love the fact that we can take the mirror from a 1967 911 and put it with the windscreen wipers from a 1998 911 and mix it with the vintage racing chic of a central racing filler from the 911R, RSR era of the early 70s. So where does the carbon begin? Is the bonnet carbon? Is that original bonnet? Everything's carbon, carbon, carbon. 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 We carbon. keep we keep the steel doors because of the impact side impact uh, protection, which is good. How many there. hours work go into turning a 964 into this beauty? A little over 4,000. <laughs> <laughs> it's nutty. Well, critics of the resto mod scene think these cars should be restored to their original specification to preserve their purity. But there's no shortage of wealthy customers who want a classic car that's both faster and safer. This car's going to a gentleman in Indonesia. Uh, this car's going to a gentleman in Dubai. Um, we've, we have a car in, in France. We have a car in Mexico. We it's have a car in Sweden. Fast. How many have gone out of the doors so far? Six. Six have gone. And we have, we have seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven are, are in the restoration at the moment. You um, should be very proud, very proud. It's a wonderful piece of work. Thank you very much. <laughs> Time to see just how wonderful it really is. Welcome to the famous Willow Springs, one hour north of LA. It was here that Carroll Shelby tested his legendary AC Cobra and where the stunt team from the movie Bullet came to record the sounds of meaty V8s for that most famous of car chases. Now, it may have taken about 4,000 hours to build. It's going to take me about four minutes to tell how well they've built it. First impressions are, they've done a pretty solid job. It's great to hear that air-cooled note from the back. 360 horsepower to play with, a little bit of understeer in there. I was concerned they put larger tyres on the rear than I really was. The balance is immediately predominantly understeer, pushing me wide. It's the back turn, grip, 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 feed in the power. Quite left fighting's beginning to fight. But it's quite impressive how confident I can be so quickly for this car. Whoa, 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 whoa. steady, Tim, steady, 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 steady. Ah. The resto modifications are impressive, but it's not as easy to drive as a current 911. The steering is heavier and the handling less finely tuned. Whoa, whoa, fighting! But thanks to all that weight-saving carbon fibre bodywork, it's light and agile and responds instantly if you grab it by the scrap of the neck. Come on! It's like riding a fucking Bronco out of that corner. Up to 7,000 RPM. Break deep. I'll tell you what, <laughs> this really is a car. I'd love to race around this track. It's confidence-inspiring. It's feisty. It's flipping hard work. This street course, as they call it, has really been a great test for this 911. It's standing up the lap after lap of heavy braking, big power sliding, <laughs> and twitchy moments. And what I really love about this 911 is that they built it like a new car. And yet it really feels like 
the lovely old air-cooled cars that so many people still lust after. Well, here we are, lusting. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, it's a lot of money, and no, it doesn't drive as precisely as a modern 911, but that would be to miss the point. It's a meticulously built one-off, and like all the rest of mods I've seen on this trip, offers the best of both worlds. Expect old classics remixed in a new style to take off in a big way. Over your shoulder, come on! I mean, what a magnificent combination of being a composed row car, but also a lot of fun. A lot of fun. <laughs> Deciding whether the Jag is better 